All right, hey guys, it is episode three of Nether Survival mm-hmm. here with Tanner Wood, and I'm so glad you joined us. So we're gonna actually start this episode mm-hmm. off with a nice time lapse. So I hope you guys enjoy. And once that's done, mm-hmm. we're gonna go through and I'll show you the base and see exactly what I've done. So thank you guys so much for joining mm-hmm. us. I cannot wait to show you what we've been doing and show you all the improvements that we've got going on. So. Enjoy, I'll see you in a minute. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. As you can see, I'm in full gold armor now. I got this after I died. I came back here, made some gold armor, and then went back to the bastion, as you saw in that time lapse. And I found Soul Speed 3 boots. So I'm super excited and pumped about that. And yeah, full gold armor. We're making making our way through this season pretty nicely now. We're covered in gold, and we have found all of the biomes now. We now have everything that we need biome-wise. So all we have left is to explore that fortress we found an episode or two back, and the bastion a little bit more. I cannot wait to show you everything I've done downstairs. And yes, there's a basement now, and I'll show you how we get down there and everything. I cannot wait. but. Yes, we found warped. We now have warped. As you can see, this little blue plant right here, we found the warped biome. So let's go ahead and 
jump right into this and I can show you exactly what we've been doing. So you can see a little bit of it right here. This is all going to get blocked off eventually, but this is how you get to the basement. I thought that was kind of a fun little way to get down. So we are using the brand new quartz block. That is the quartz brick. I am so happy with this brick it is amazing and it goes so nicely with the black stone brick and so you have that nice balance of black and white type of thing and then we've kind of done this pattern out of the basalt on the ground which i think is super cool but eventually i'm gonna fill all this in with uh the fence posts and cover this this will keep going up a little ways and then it's going to meet over around here but we got our respawn anchor so there's no more dying and ending up in the overworld we will spawn right here so we can get rid of those portals completely and we sh never should have to do use them again as long as we keep this up but i made this kind of platform for it i guess so it's one block above this and Huh. And we've got soul fire, and that's what we've been cooking our food. I'm just finishing off all the bread that we need, but or that we have, but I've been collecting a lot of pork so we can survive with the pork. Um, I did the polished basalt and then blackstone in the ceiling as well. We'll see if we like that, if we want to change it or what. Gotta be careful right here, because the lava. But we've got our new crimson, or sorry, our new warped wood in here with backed by the new white quartz brick, which I love. And then in here will be the basalt as well. I just need to go get some more. So this is kind of what I've been working on. And then we've got this area here too, kind of a combination of different fences and then just all the different new plants looking out into this ocean of lava so this is what we've got going on right now uh, and i am so happy everything has been turning out the way we've been wanting it and it looks amazing so let's continue i think i need to show you this new biome we found so let's head back upstairs because as of right now, that's the only way to get out of this house, which is totally fine. I like it. And so, let's head outside. I've done a few different things out here. This is, I made a sign to show where the crimson was, but we live in the crimson, so I just stuck it there for now. But right here, this is how we get to our warped biome. So if we hop up and around this way, not too far, but a decent length, I guess. So I popped out here and kind of was looking over there and it looked a little blue to me. So I started to build this way. Sure enough, I got to this point, looked over and it was blue. Oh, we got an Enderman. But it, I need to get some sort of lighting system along this way. But here we are not a big one right here and then it, you go through this way and it turns kind of into a crimson over this way and then it continues this way I just gotta watch out for the hoglins there's one right over there but this this crimson goes way that way Hopefully I didn't look that Enderman in the eye. Nope, I think we're good. But, so now we have a ton of warped. Yeah, sorry, the warped biome goes way far that way. It's insane how big it is. But I am so excited because now we have these blue colors that we wanted for our color palette. It is going to be amazing to use, and I cannot wait. So, let's head back over to where we were, and I'll show you kind of the rest of what's been going on. I've already shown you the basement. Um, I guess that's technically it so far. I worked on that off camera quite a bit. Well, I guess 
I did the time lapse of it, but I did a lot off camera as well. And did this tunnel off camera and just to see what I could find. So now I think it's time for a little bit more building and getting that bottom area finished. But first we need to head back over to the basalt delta and get some more basalt because I'm running out. Yeah, I think it'll look cool once this is built up a little bit more and it'll be kind of cool, I think. Oh, crap. Yeah, come over here. That's what I thought. I put these mushrooms here because they're scared of them. And then this fire is the hoglins, or the uh, pigments. Piglins are scared of the blue fire. And so it makes it really nice to be able to do that. Anyways, so yeah, I am really loving it down here. And when I get pork, I'll bring it down here and cook it on the fire. That's really the only way I can think of a non-fuel source way of doing it. Um, so that's kind of what we've been doing lately. I need to get my other chest set up down below, but we need to go get some more basalt because I think that's what I'm wanting to use is the basalt down there. If I had, if I had some ice, then I could use the ice as a way of getting basalt. But obviously, no ice in the Nether. It'd be a, that is a tiny little sword, little guy. Get it out of the wall. Come on. There it is. Look how tiny that thing is. That's cute. They've made them proportionate. Bye. <laughs> All right, let's go find this basalt delta. All right, here it is. Let's just get a ton of this basalt. It'd be nice to have a beacon, but good luck getting that much. I mean, I guess we could use gold. It would be a nightmare to get though. Haven't been up here in a while. Probably shouldn't be up here. End up dying up here or something. Yeah, grab some quartz. Might as well. We're already here. I'm not touching the gold. Sheesh, they scare me sometimes. I want to get that gold, but not with him there. Well, oh, there's a straight. <laughs> cold hot, cold hot, cold hot. <laughs> then he stopped. Bummer. Did he leave? If he left, maybe I can get this gold. I also don't want to risk it too much. Yeah, I think he left. Hallelujah. Guess I can also go down. Do not want to open up, up into the lava ocean below. That should be good for right now. I think let's head back to the base. We've got plenty of basalt. Really need to get more blackstone, um, but we'll get that a little later. I'm very glad basalt is blast resistant as well. One, two, 
two, three, four. How high am I? Okay, so there's the room. Two, three, four, five. That makes it almost to the height of that room. So maybe there. That's the height of the room. We'll go one more. these yet. Do not push me off that edge. I will be very upset. Do not go in my house. Get out of there. <sighs> Do not open my door. Out. Right, I think I like that. So what's gonna happen is this I think is gonna be... How did you guys get down here? Dang it. Get out of my house. They're gone. Oh, they screwed to the ceiling. Nice. Well, I think that is going to wrap it up for episode three of Nether Survival. I cannot wait for the next episode and to do a little bit more. As you know, we found all of the biomes in the nether now. We have a beautiful respawn anchor and have our base is coming along pretty nice if i do say so myself so thank you guys so much for watching please like subscribe hit that bell icon please share it with your friends let's get this channel so that we can have a nice community and an, a beautiful friendship and just grow this channel so that we can have a lot of fun playing minecraft together with this nether survival with our let's play series and possibly some other series coming up we'll have to see if we can get some more people watching and if we can then maybe we can do some skyblock series we can also do some other survival maybe even a few other games let's find out and if you guys want to see other games let me know down in the comments please let me know if you guys think there's something else we should do with any of these series. If you think that the 
nether survival series. There just has to be something in it. Please let me know. So I am so excited and I cannot wait till the next series. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next series and possibly in the Let's Play as well. And you guys have a great day and we'll see you next time. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye. Thank you, Enderman. <laughs>